The 1980s were a wonderful time when just about everything got their own comic book, including The A-Team, one of the greatest television shows ever created. The A-Team comic book number three, fittingly the third review featured on CGR Comics. Let's open this up. It's from May of 1984. The A-Team. The Flight of the Red Bird, which is actually a lot more like an episode of G.I. Joe than the A-Team, but check this out. Right next to it is a Masters of the Universe toy advertisement. I love the toys in the old school comic books, and wait till I show you what's on the back. After many years, this particular comic book has faded, but since you'll be listening to the A-Team theme in your head, while also hearing the actors voice the dialogue like, I ain't flying with no cowboy, it doesn't matter because this comic book is awesome and so is the magic glow racer from Revel. In this particular issue of the A-Team, which is kind of like one of the episodes, an old school cowboy star hires the A-Team, whose daughter is of course interested in Face Man because he was in Battlestar Galactica. And the A-Team has to go in search of a super secret airplane called the Red Bird, which is of course an evil communist airplane, as B.A. says, full plane. This comic is actually worth reading just for his dialogue alone. And uh, half the jokes revolve around B.A. not wanting to fly. A pity the fool who tries to make B.A. get into an airplane and of course, well, you'll have to see how they do it at the end. And like the TV show, nobody actually gets shot. All of the bullets miss everything. The A-Team was either completely incompetent or intentionally missed everyone, I'm not sure. Look, it's the Zorcom spaceship. The dynamic new space adventure kids can really get into. And it comes with its own adventure cassettes. Wow. A-Team number three, the comic book, is like a really short, condensed version of one of the TV shows. You know, each of the A-Team members has their own thing, and they each use it in the adventure to capture the red bird and of course along the way you can enjoy ads like this one for Atari soft games including Donkey Kong back when it was on something other than just a Nintendo console because in 1984 the NES wasn't even out in the US yet some awesome games here Donkey Kong Centipede Pac-Man Defender Robotron 2084 Stargate and Dig Dug that's actually some of the best games ever made all on one page all right, anyway, I'm not going to give away the ending, but if you've ever seen an episode of the A-Team, you know how they all end. The A-Team doesn't lose, and you know what? You won't lose if you find a copy of A-Team number three. This full thing is trickier than I thought. Mr. T is still awesome. Get on the jazz and win a free trip to Hollywood with Mr. T. Can I still enter this? I'm gonna cut this out and try. The ending of A-Team number three is thoroughly satisfying, but I won't show it to you because you should read it for yourself. Check it out, it's an ad for Masters of the Universe, the video game. I don't actually have this, which means it's time to hit eBay. And here's an ad for Frogger on numerous game consoles, like in television, Atari 2600, Texas Instruments, 99 slash 4A, Commodore, VIC-20, Commodore 64, Atari 5200, Atari Home Computers, and the mighty ColecoVision. At last, different croaks for different folks. <laughs>